Welcome back. For this demo, we're going to take a look at Spring Boot MVC, the view portion. We're going to talk about rendering JSP pages on Spring Boot uh, using Spring Tool Suites. The reason why we're going to use JSP versus HTML is because JSP will compile with the data and pass that on in the view, while HTML won't accept any data. So for wanting to pass in data, we need to use a JSP page. Uh, for these steps, we're going to create a project with the dependencies. We're going to add specific dependencies for JSP. We're going to create folders. And then we're going to point the application to those folders. Uh, we have to make sure we have a Spring Tool Suite plugin installed and that it's working. Uh, and then finally, we'll create that JSP page from a Spring Tool Suite template. We'll create the controller, and then we're going to test it all out. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to go up to New. We're going to create a new Spring Starter project. And for this, we're going to call it Spring Boot JSP. I'm going to update the package down here. And this is going to be a Spring Boot JSP demo. We're going to hit Next. And we're going to add Spring Web and Spring Boot, Boot DevTools. We won't be using Timeleaf as we used in the HTML video. Hit Next and Finish. So let's open up our project. So the first thing is we create a project with the dependencies, which was Spring Web. And now we need to add a specific JSP dependency. So let's head into our source main resources and our, and our correction. We're going to move down to our palm, XML, where our dependencies are held. And you can see this is the group of dependencies. And this is each individual dependency, right? Spring Boot Starter. Spring Boot Dev Tools that we installed, and Spring Boot Starter Test. And I'm going to copy and paste the dependency we'll need. And I'll include this dependency uh, in the comments below. But this is going to be uh, an Apache Tomcat, uh, Tomcat Embedded Jasper. And we're going to save that. Next, we're moving on to part three. So we need to add a folder for our JSPs. We're going to come in here to source, new folder. And this is actually going to be within the main. So make sure it's source main. And this folder is going to be called web app. We're adding Two more folders. Next one is uh, web inf. And the final one is going to be JSP. Now, there's a specific reason why we put these JSP files in this folder. And we can cover that in another video. Just for now, this is the folder structure we'll be using for JSP. Now, before we create our JSP um, page, we have to have um, two things. We're going to need the application properties to be updated. And that's back up here in our source main resources, application properties. And right now it's empty. I'm going to copy and paste these properties in, and I will include them in the comments as well. And let's go over them real quick. So this is telling Spring, the model view controller, the view, that there's a prefix to add to the view. And this is the folder location. Web INF JSP. And then we're a suffix that will be added that, to it, which is dot JSP. And we'll explain a little bit more about this when we create our controller. Finally, we need to make sure that we have a plugin for Spring Tool Suites that allows us to use JSP pages, JSP files. To test this out, you need to go to new. You'll see that there is no JSP here. Go down to Other and start typing 
JSP. If you see this web folder with JSP file and a JSP tag, you're good to go. If not, you need to come up to your help, Eclipse Marketplace, and I already have it installed, but you need to install these Eclipse Enterprise Java and Web Developer tools. As you can see down here, this includes tools for JSP, Java Server Pages. I have a video, I'll link that as well if you need to install this. So we're gonna come back down to the folder. We're gonna hit a new, like we did before, other, and we have JSP already right here, so I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna call this my index.jsp. I'm gonna hit finish. I'm gonna update this. And I'm gonna add an H1 tag for homepage. Great, so going back, we've uh, added the application properties, we've checked on that plugin, and we've created our first JSP page. Now we need to create a controller to get us to that page. So. Back up here to our source main Java. We're gonna create a new Java class, and we're just gonna call this main controller. We're gonna add the controller tag. We're gonna import that. Add the request mapping tag. And this will just be for the forward slash home page. Create the method. It's going to be public. Return a string. Home page. No parameters for now. And it's going to return a string of index. That is our index.jsp. Now, before we run any of this, well, let's uh, import this request mapping. All right, so that's imported. Let's take a look at the what we mentioned before about the application properties. We're adding the suffix, right? The web INF JSP. That's for the folder location. And we're adding, uh, correction, we're adding a prefix, right? And we're adding a suffix. So what this is essentially saying is when you're looking for this index, add the suffix of JSP and add the folder location of web INF JSP. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, run as Spring Boot application. Looks like I didn't save a couple things. We'll go ahead and save everything. Ah, I already got something else running. So let's go ahead and stop everything. Run as Spring Boot application. And let's go over to our page here. All right. So we're going to go to localhost 8080. I already have it saved here as a tab. And what do we get? We get our home page, our JSP that's loading, our title. And everything's running. Uh, if you found any value in this video, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, for the next video, we're going to talk about how to get data into this JSP. We're going to talk about JSP tags, which allow you to create loops and conditions on that data. And we're going to talk about model, the model portion of the MVC, right, model, and how to use that model in correlation with the view and controller that we just demoed. Please subscribe and follow along for the next video.